Welcome back team, Professor Mike, Coach T back, start of another week, Monday. Man, it's got to be close to the end of lockdown now, right? How many videos is this? Maybe 30, 40 videos? Right. One a day, okay? All down to Coach T. I'm just the guy gobbing off on the camera. Um, if you've been following this series, we looked at six attacks from the back, concept video, six attacks from the mount, concept video, starting now in side control. We're moving back to the hierarchy of positions, giving you attacks from the dominant positions in Jiu Jitsu. So side control, one of my favorite attacks. Let's look at what it is. The Kimura from the far side. Okay, this happens when I'm able to get two hands controlling my opponent's far arm. Two arms controlling my opponent's far arm. Um, what we're not gonna show in this video is how to control someone in side control, and the concepts and principles around that. Um, come back on Sunday, we'll show you that video. Okay, it's gonna be available for you on Sunday. So the idea here is we're in side control, our opponent have done a good job of getting past my opponent's guard. I'm going to attack this far arm. To be able to attack that far arm, I must take a two on one position. Okay, and this is consistent across a lot of Jiu Jitsu. If we want to isolate an arm, we tend to want to go two against one because it gives us a mechanical and strength advantage, right? So as I'm in my normal side control position here with Coach T, uh, and again, check back Sunday for how we do this, I'm going to come over the top to create two arms against one. As I come over the top here, I want to make sure I have a grip on my opponent, underneath my opponent's shoulder. I want to be able to peel my sh opponent's shoulder off the mat, okay? So what I do is I lift, and I'll take a grip with this hand underneath. This just shelves his shoulder, and this allows his, his shoulder to connect back to the mat. Simultaneously, I will draw my elbow onto my opponent's rib cage. This does two things. He starts to peel this arm away from his own body, which is where he's the strongest, okay? If he can keep his elbow to his hip, he's strong. I want his arm extended and expose this space here. So by bringing my own elbow up onto my opponent's rib cage, that does that. It also creates quite a, quite a large amount of pressure on my opponent where I can create some weight going down into their diaphragm. So, just recap, side control. This hand doesn't move, okay? Underneath the elbow, come over the top. I lift, take a grip, shelve my opponent's shoulder off the mat. From here, my elbow comes to my opponent's rib cage and I will press some weight on it. We need to turn now, Coach T, please, this way. Because I need everyone to see the leg work on this side. To move around to north-south to finish this Kimura, I've got to do some work on this arm. Can't allow this to be in play. And there's a number of ways we can do this. So as I get to this position here where I shell and I come on top, okay, the easiest option would be to peel my opponent's arm to the floor with my, the, head, the, the leg close to my opponent's head and simply kind of windshield wipe it over, all right, pinning this arm down. Okay, it's fairly uncomfortable on the bicep, this is where we need to be because ultimately we need to turn our opponent onto their side and not allow them to use this arm to move. Okay, so there's one option. So option number one, if we get here, we're on top, we pull our opponent up to the side, we look for this arm, we pin, we windscreen wiper over and pin. That's the easiest way. Okay, we can also come to here where we step, come through, step and over. That's another option. A little bit more complicated, but if you want total control, that can work just as well. Okay, however we do it, when we pull our opponent up to his side, however we gain control of this arm, once we get to here, I must now step over my opponent's head to isolate this arm. So we're gonna come back, I'm gonna turn this way this time, please come see. I'm gonna go from the beginning. So, side control. Here look, over the head, lift up, shoulder the shoulder, elbow to the chest. Create some pressure. Pull my opponent up towards me. Deal with the arm. However you deal with it. Arms now pinned. Elbows still in. Step up. Now look, this is the key. This foot is against my opponent's shoulders, disallowing him to go back this way. I now need to hunt for the hand. As I peel this arm and separate it from his body, this hand will come through and replace this one. And I will slide up and find the wrist. 
slide down, find the wrist. Let's look at that again. So we're here, shelved here. I need to keep my opponent's hand away from his belt. That's what he wants to grab. So I slide up. Replace, wrist, wrist. There's the position. From there, simply keep his hand away from his belt. Turn my body, and that's the finish. All right? You'll see this finished a number of different ways, but for me, having the arm pinned on this side, pinning his arm or his shoulder, disallowing his ability to move, elbow pinned to my own chest, torso turning to get the tap, is the best way. Remember, our opponent's best defense is to grab the belt. So if we allow that, it's a difficult grip to break. Okay, if he grabs like his thigh or whatever, we'll break that every day. But if he grabs the belt, it's a difficult grip to break, it's more complicated. So I can't allow that hand to go anywhere near the belt. Hence, pulling the arm up, moving it away from his center line, away from his body, helps me to ensure that. Okay, one more time from the top. Far side Kimura from side control. Side control is good here, from over the top. Elevate this arm, take a grip under the shoulder. We're starting the process of moving our opponent through to his side. Elbow comes to the center, here. I lean, pull my opponent towards me. Deal with the arm, however you want to deal with it. Simple way, pin with the top arm, windscreen wiper over, pin with the bottom arm, bottom leg, sorry. Step over to the back. Disconnect my opponent's arm from his body. Switch hands. Find the wrist. Connect my other wrist, figure four. Elbow stuck to my opponent, to my chest, sorry. Turn the corner, that's the tap there, okay? Go steady when we get here, we start to feel that tension. There's no pushing here, it's my torso that's doing the job. All right, guys, let's go to Hope you enjoyed that. Far side Kimura from side control. Remember the key details, we must shelve our opponent, keep his connection from the mat. We need to bring him towards us, do the leg work first, step through, and then make sure he cannot ever grab the belt. Hope you enjoy it. Check back tomorrow. See you soon.